Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and today is Saturday which means a new video is out on my YouTube channel. Today we have a questions and answers topic. You all asked me a lot of questions on my Instagram and I've selected some of the most popular ones to answer now. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe and hit like. Alright, let's get started. The first one. Do you freeze cakes or any ingredients? No, I have never frozen cakes in my life. Honestly, my cakes are quite pricey. Uh, one of the reasons is personally because I do not freeze them. I use only fresh ingredients and prepare the cakes two days before the delivery date. Uh, one day is spent um, preparing the basics like sponges and fillings for the cakes and the next morning I make the cream and immediately assemble the cake. Uh, after that I level the cake and do the decoration. The next day the client receive uh, the freshest cake which needs to be consumed within 48 hours. This is stipulated in my terms and conditions because it is very very important. I know there are cake bakers who freeze already finished cakes and then just take them out uh, of the freeze and give them to the customer. That's not my story, I'm not tasting quantity. Uh, my task is to prepare a very tasty and beautiful cake that uh, both the customer and I will like. Typically, cake bakers who freeze cakes try to sell as many as possible at the minimum price. Since preparing uh, a cake is not a quiet task, they spend a couple of days making and freeze uh, the cakes and then deliver them to the customer. I, on the other hand, uh, do not take many orders, but as I mentioned, my prices are high. So, next question is, what's the most expensive cake you've made? Very, very uh, popular question. Uh, by the way, usually the most expensive cakes are wedding cakes, uh, but I had a custom uh, order for a 3D cake and the client even asked not to post it on my social media because uh, the cake had the address of um, a well-known person on it. So, the cake was supposedly for 40 people and I charged 800 for it. Uh, plus, there were tips, but I don't remember exactly how much. Next, uh, what are the largest tips you ever received? I have never asked for, uh, nor do I ask, nor will I ask for tips. People are not uh, obligated to leave them. The clients already pays a high price for the cake, so in the ca any case, they uh, get a quality product. But if you ask, I immediately uh, recall a story when I made a corporate order for a college graduation. Uh, it was a USC college when I still lived um, in Los Angeles. As usual, I prepared cupcakes and a cake from scratch the day before and uh, the next morning I delivered uh, the order and left in there. I always work on a prepayment basis and uh, the customer pays uh, the remainder after receiving the order. In this case, after I delivered it. Uh, but very often it happens that one, the day of uh, the celebration, the customer is very busy uh, celebrating and uh, does not have time and I perfectly understand this. So I don't ask them to transfer payment for the cake immediately. Uh, I'm calm about the fact that uh, the customer can pay for the product after their celebration like next day and that time was just such a case uh, the next day I went to the movies and uh, I received a notification about the deposit into my company's bank account of double the prepayment payment so it was 200 uh, so meaning uh, 100 was left as tips uh, those were my biggest tips Oh my god, next question is, uh, what's the maximum number of cakes you've made in a month? Oh, uh, you know, I still don't want to remember that time. It was more than a year ago, I took about 20 cakes a week. That's around 80 orders a month. Uh, and uh, these were not banda cakes or cupcakes, uh, these were full-sized cakes, many tiered cakes, uh, which takes a lot of effort and energy. It was terrible, it was uh, very tired. Uh, there were even days uh, when I 
simply didn't leave the house. I would uh, wake up at 7 a.m., uh, forget to have breakfast, eat breakfast at 5 p.m., uh, then continue working and go to bed at midnight. Um, and this could continue in a loop for several days. Making custom cakes is a very difficult task. I completely understand it, uh, both physically, because you are constantly standing and moving your arms, and emotionally, because not all customers are perfect, people are different, and uh, problems arise. Okay, let's continue. Why did you stop making custom cakes? I think uh, the most honest answer to this question is I got tired. Um, for almost four years I made custom cakes, I had uh, hundreds of happy clients and a few not so happy ones, that's fine, absolutely fine. Usually for some um, working with client is the most um, draining part, you know, but for me it wasn't. I got more physically tired, but I really loved making cakes, being part of people's celebrations. Therefore, now I only take orders from my regular customers who have been ordering from me for over a year. For example, uh, last week I delivered a very beautiful cake to my clients and it was uh, their sixth order in a year. Uh, there are wonderful, pleasant people. I adore such customers. So here is a small video we ended up with. Uh, I still have some your questions left, but feel free to ask new ones uh, in the comments. Next time I'll randomly select a few of them and answer. Have a great day, have a great weekend, bye and see you soon.